Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Teacher Finky, your guide in learning TLE Electronics. Tara! Let's explore! <music> Hi students, welcome to another learning episode about electronics and we are still having resistors as our topic. In this lesson, you will be able to learn how to compute resistance value, identify the color combination of a given resistance value, calculate the tolerance value and limits, and lastly, conduct a simple conversion. Sa, la sa lesson na ito, may apply din natin ang mga general rules na natalakay ko sa naunang episode. And I hope you have done your assignment which is to master the color coding chart as this will help you in your in computing the resistance. Are you excited to learn? If yes, let's go. Okay. So I hope you have memorized this one and master it as well. Okay? So diretso na tayo sa pagcompute ng resistance value. Here's the step. The first one, compare the ends of the resistor. Identify which band is the first and fourth. And the last and fourth band of a resistor has either a color of gold and silver as, it, as the tolerance. Okay? So, ayan. That will be the last band. And from then, Madali na lang natin ma-identify kung sino ang first, second, and the multiplier. Next, identify the color of each band of the given resistor. Using the example, you have to identify the color for the first, the second, for the third, or the multiplier. And we all know the color for the tolerance. So, so the first color is brown. The second color is is black the third color is orange and lastly gold as the tolerance or the fourth color next one determine the equivalent value of each color in every band of the resistor matapos natin ma-identify ang, ang iba't ibang kulay makikita sa resistor ngayon bibigyan na natin ng value ang bawat kulay first digit brown According to the color coding chart, it has a value of 1, while black as a second digit or second color has a value of 0. Multiplier, which is the orange, has a value of 1000. Now, if you have remember, orange in the first and second digit has a value of 3. So, pagdating sa multiplier, meron siyang tatlong 0. Okay? And the tolerance, which is the gold, has a value of plus minus 5% or positive negative 5%. Okay, the next step, put the first two digits together. The first band and the second band side by side to form a two-digit number. Multiply the two-digit number by the multiplier. So 1 and 0, you have to put them together. That's why here, it becomes 10 and multiply them to 1000 as the multiplier has a value of 1000 so 10 times 1000 the answer is 10000 ohms and plus minus 5% now for a brown black orange gold the value would be 10000 ohms plus minus 5% let's simplify this one we will be using k means kilo and kilo is a prefix for 1000 so let's go to the example number one the colors are brown black black gold and brown has one black is zero black times one yes pagdating sa multiplier ang black ay magiging one not zero kasi kung ito ay zero ang lahat ng may multiply natin sa zero will be zero so, definitely, it's not 0. It should be 1. So, 10 times 1 will be 10, right? While gold has plus minus 5%. So, ayun. Pagsamahin ang dalawang number, 1, 0. 10 times 1 equals 10 ohms. And the plus minus 5%. Putting them together, 
it will become 10 ohms plus minus 5%. Now for a brown, black, black gold, it has a value of 10 ohms plus minus 5%. Another example. So here we have a colors yellow, blue, red, and gold. Yellow has a value of 4. Blue has a value of 6. While red, isn't it? The red has a value of 2 in the first and second color, right? So pagdating sa multiplier, it has two zeros. Therefore, it has a value of times 100. While gold has a value of plus minus 5%. Putting them together, the first and second digit, and multiply them to, to 100, the answer would be 4,600 ohms plus minus 5%. Okay, to simplify these numbers, the answer would be 4.6 kilo ohms plus minus 5%. Alright, let's move on to the next example. Another colors combination. We have blue, gray, gold, and gold. Okay, blue has a value of 6, gray is 8. Gold times 0.1. Okay. Gold in a multiplier has a decimal value of 0.1. While gold in a tolerance has a value of plus minus 5%. Putting them together, multiply them to times 0.1. The answer would be 6.8 ohms plus minus 5%. Now, this is the technique. Kung may makita kayong gold as the multiplier, tatandaan nyo lang na may decimal point siya sa gitna ng first and second digit. Kasi nga, ang kanyang value ay times 0.1. Okay? Yun lang, para mas madali nating maikompute ang value ng resistor na may gold na multiplier. Next one, we have here orange, white, silver, and silver. Orange is a value of 3. White is 9. Silver times 0 0.01. While the other silver, positive, negative, 10% or plus minus 10%. Putting them together, the first and second digit, and multiply them to times 0 0.01. The answer will be 0.39 ohms plus minus 10%. Okay, another thing to remember. If the multiplier is silver, there should be a decimal point before the first digit. Okay, another highlight sa ating lesson. Ito naman ay kabaliktaran. So, yung kanina, andyan yung colors, kinocompute natin yung value. This time, may resistance value, pero kailangan mo ma-identify ang colors. So, ito yung sinasabi kong kabaliktaran. May i-apply natin ito sa sitwasyon na kung saan, you have the value but then, you don't know what would be the colors. So, here, kailangan mo ma-identify ang color combination ng isang resistors at hanapin ito sa mga resistors na meron ka. Para hindi ka nabibili sa tindahan. Paano natin gagawin ito? Una, confirm the value of the resistor that you are going to look for. It is best to write it down on a piece of paper. Especially, there are many of them to look for. Mas sa madaling salita, isulat mo lahat ng mga value na resistor na kailangan mong gamitin sa iyong project or uh, replacement sa mga nasunog na resistors. Or kung meron kang part list, kailangan i-identify mo muna kung anong value meron ito. You have to take note the prefixes na ginagamit usually pagka, pagka titingnan mo yung mga part list kasi they are usually using the kilo and the mega signifying its value as thousand and millions. So you have to also to take note the first two digits of the given value. So in here, as an example, we have 470 ohms plus minus 5%. So the first two digits, 47, will be our first and second color. 4 as the yellow, 7 as the violet. Uh, the remaining 0, so the answer will be brown. The color representing 1 0 is brown because brown is 10. Okay? And gold, the positive negative 5% is gold. So for a 470 ohms plus minus 5%, it has a color combination of yellow, violet, brown, and gold. Easy, right? Okay. Next one. Another example. What if the value you have to look for 
is 4.7 kilo ohms plus minus 5%. So we will expound that one. 4,700 ohms plus minus 5%. So you have the first two digits, 47. 4 for yellow. 7 for violet. And there are two zeros. Since may dalawang zeros, ang ibig sabihin nito, ito ay may kulay na red. Kasi ang red ay may value na 100. Still, positive negative 5% is gold. So for a 4,700 ohms plus minus 5%, the color combination will be yellow, violet, red, and gold. Okay, a difficult one. 6.3 mega ohms plus minus 5% is equal to 6,300,000 ohms plus minus 5%. When we expand the value, we will notice many zeros, right? So, mas madali natin ma-identify ang mga colors nito. Okay, the first color will be 6 is blue, 3 is orange, while 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 5 zeros is green. Why green? Because green in multiplier has a value of 100,000. So, therefore, 100,000 has a 5 zeros. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And green also in our first and second digit has a value of 5. Since there are 5 zeros, then the multiplier will be green. And for the tolerance, it has a color of gold. So for a 6.3 mega ohms plus minus 5%, the color combination is blue, orange, green, and gold. What are the color combination for a resistance value of 6.8 ohms plus minus 10%? Though there is a decimal point in between the first and second digit, these two are considered as our first and second color. Now, 6 is blue, while 8 is gray. And for the multiplier, is gold. Why gold? Because gold has a value of 0 0.1. So when we multiply 6 to 8 times 0 0.1, the answer is 6.8 ohms. When there is decimal point in between the first and second digit, automatic yan ng ating multiplier is gold. And for the plus minus 10%, the color is silver. Example number 5. What are the color combination of a 0.39 ohms plus 10%? 3 goes for orange, while 9 for the white. And here, decimal point is before the first digit. That means our multiplier is silver. Silver has a value of 0 0.01. So when we multiply 39 times 0 0.01, the answer is 0.39 ohms. And the plus minus 10% goes for the color silver. Here are my social accounts for you to reach me out if may katanungan or suggested topic na related sa electronics. At kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, mag-subscribe ka at Pindutin ang notification button para updated ka sa mga susunod kong videos. God bless everyone. Keep safe.